So welcome to this video on numbers and algebra. Numbers and algebra is a very general topic for quantitative aptitude. One of the easiest, but you need to keep a few things in mind while going about this chapter. Firstly, what comes under numbers and algebra? It is a very general topic, so you should be good with numbers first of all. You're very comfortable with numbers. You should be good at forming equations. If I give you any problem, any sum, you should be able to convert it into a mathematical equation. That requires practice. That will come with practice. We have some question, some, some practice questions, uh, which you can try on our website. Um, link is in description. Basic mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You should be very quick with it. We have a course, a free course on Merit Store that will help you to improve your mathematical calculation skills. Again, the link is in description. I encourage you to go through it. And finally, fundamental mathematical identities. We'll talk about each of these one by one. So as I said before, you need to be good at forming equations. So this is a question from our practice questions. If you are watching this video on YouTube, the link is in description. If you are watching this video on Merit Store website, then you can go down and start solving these questions. So if one third of one fourth of a number is 15, then 3 tenth of that number is. So you need to be able to form this into an equation. So how would you do it? 1 by 3 into 1 by 4 into x is equal to 15. Okay, that is how you form this equation. So this comes with practice and for practice we have given you 20 questions under this chapter of numbers and algebra in our course on meritstore.in. <laughs> Next, you need to be good with uh, basic mathematical operations like addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. So, on Merit Store, we have this great platform where you can practice calculations. This is a very basic version of it. You can choose different levels. Let's go to level 3. So, in this way, practice daily for at least 15 minutes or at least 5 minutes. You can also go to multiplication, subtraction, division. You can practice whatever you want, whichever mathematical. Uh, operation you want to practice and then you can practice it with levels level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 and you can keep on leveling up as you get comfortable this is a really good practice for you and it won't take much time just even five minutes a day can cause a significant uh, improvement in your mathematical skills and this will make you more comfortable with numbers so it is highly recommended that you check this course out Another important aspect of this chapter is tests of divisibility. A lot of questions are asked in aptitude which depends on uh, figuring out whether a number is divisible by another number or not, which is tests of divisibility. So here I have listed all the tests of divisibility that you need to know. Apart from this, we have also created a different dedicated video explaining all these tests of divisibility. So again, the link is in description or you can click on the i icon to the top right of this video. So these are the tests of divisibility. Next are the fundamental mathematical identities. These six identities, never forget these identities, very important. No matter which aptitude test you are attempting, you need to know these fundamental mathematical identities. So first is a plus b the whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. a minus b the whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b a plus b plus c the whole square is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca and then a plus b the whole cube is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square you can also remember this equation as a cube plus b cube plus 3ab into a plus b okay then finally a minus b the whole cube is a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square you can also remember this equation as a cube minus b cube minus 3ab the the whole a plus b right so basically you have to be comfortable with numbers mathematical operations calculations and of course fundamental mathematical identities in order to crack this topic <laughs> 